Historically, equine degenerative myeloencephalopathy was understood as a widespread degenerative condition primarily affecting the thoracic spinal cord. Another early investigation described equine neuroaxonal dystrophy in Morgan horses, noting similar degenerative changes such as nerve fiber degeneration, increased glial cells, fluid-filled spaces, and pigment accumulation, but these changes were mainly found in a specific area of the brainstem called the accessory lateral cuneate nuclei without significant microscopic changes in the spinal cord. Later studies in quarter horses with equine neuroaxonal dystrophy also identified degenerative changes within a specific nucleus in the thoracic spinal cord. Over time, the distinction between equine neuroaxonal dystrophy and equine degenerative myeloencephalopathy became clearer, with a general agreement that equine neuroaxonal dystrophy is a more localized form of equine degenerative myeloencephalopathy that does not involve significant degenerative changes in the white matter of the spinal cord. Initial reports described these conditions in younger horses, typically between birth and two years of age, and in specific breeds like Arabians, Thoroughbreds, Quarter Horses, and Morgans. A familial predisposition to equine degenerative myeloencephalopathy was also documented in several breeds. The clinical signs originally associated with equine degenerative myeloencephalopathy included symmetrical incoordination and weakness in all four limbs, usually first observed between birth and one year of age. These signs were indicative of problems with the upper motor neurons and the general sense of body position, without involving the cranial nerves, cerebrum, or cerebellum. Unfortunately, a definitive diagnostic test that can be performed on living horses remained elusive, with examination after death being the most conclusive method of diagnosis. Conclusion. This study provides valuable information on a large group of horses with neurodegenerative disease, highlighting a different profile in terms of breed, age, and clinical presentation compared to earlier descriptions. Nerve fiber degeneration remains a significant cause of neurological problems in horses. Whether a single underlying cause or a combination of different factors leads to these findings remains to be determined, emphasizing the ongoing need for focused research to improve anti-mortem diagnosis and ultimately, the health and welfare of affected horses.